Right, today we are making chicken goujons. So I have my chicken here, I have my red board, which I have secured with a damp cloth underneath. And here I've set up my production line. So on here, I'm gonna have my flour. Then I will have my egg. In the little bowl. So I just crack that in there. And then get a fork beat the egg. Now I'm going to show you some different toppings, okay. I've got um, cornflakes, which I'm going to crunch up. I've got some breadcrumbs, okay, and I've also got some oats. Let's just turn that around a little bit. There we go. So breadcrumbs I'm just going to put onto a piece of paper. Now the reason I'm using paper is to save on washing up. Okay, then we've got some oats here. Don't think we want cinnamon. And cornflakes, get a rolling pin to crunch them up. Now cornflakes might seem a little bit weird, but I can assure you, very, very tasty. Um, alternatively, you could use crisps, okay, crunch up crisps and use that as a coating. So the process that, we, that you, or I'm gonna show you, and that you're gonna do, is enrobing, okay, where the chicken or, or even halloumi or fish, um, covered in flour, uh, dipped in egg, and then in the coating. So, let's see if we get some flavours. So, to my um, breadcrumbs, I'm going to add some herbs, and to the oats and cornflakes, I'm going to add a bit of paprika. Okay, just get that mixed up nicely with your fingers. As you're going to be doing this at home, you could do three coatings if you wanted to. Entirely up to you. Okay, right, so now get the chicken or, as I say, halloumi or fish. Right, so I'm going to put that onto my chopping board. Give my hands a quick rinse. And then using your knife, hold it securely in place and then just slice lengths of your chicken breast okay now ideally use a uh, chicken breast because obviously it's got no bone but if you feel competent deboning chicken uh, you could have a go right so there's a bit of sinew in there See that little white bit there? I don't really want that. So I'm just gonna chop that off, put it to one side. Uh, right. There we go. Right. One, two, three, four, six. Right. enrobing okay as I say got my production line here with my tray at the end now so we don't get any um, chicken around the taps we're going to use one hand and the other hand goes behind our back so I'm right-handed so I'm going to use my right hand so my left hand is going to go behind my back and you'll see why this happens in a minute so pick up your first piece of chicken coat it in the flour then coat it in the egg and then I'm going to stick it in my breadcrumbs. Right. Onto the tray. Next piece of chicken in the flour, in the egg, again in the breadcrumbs, onto the tray. Don't worry about them being too, very close together, it doesn't matter because they're not going to swell in the oven and join up. So, again, in the breadcrumbs and onto the tray. Right, so now you see why one hand behind my back. So I've got one hand clean to be able to turn the tap on. Right, so ready to go again. Let's tuck that sleeve in there. Right, so hand behind my back. 
piece of chicken into the flour, into the egg, and now we're gonna go with the oats. Okay, onto the tray. Another piece of chicken into the flour, egg. flour, coated in the egg, and then we get into the oats, like that. Right, don't want to mix the oats with the cornflakes, so rinse my hand, again, one hand clean. Right, again, hand behind my back, last three bits of chicken, so into the flour, into the egg, and then we go into the cornflakes, making sure nicely evenly coated, and onto the tray. Flour, egg, onto the tray, last piece of chicken, coated in the flour, cornflakes all over okay into the tray right now rinse my hands and now these are going to go into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes right we'll be back